What's going on guys? Mike back from Canadian Cards. Um, doing a brief autograph um, recap. Uh, picked up a lot of about 20 something on card autos through uh, one gentleman on Facebook. Uh, bought from him before and uh, gave me a sweet deal. So I got a little bit of uh, Baseball, basketball, which I don't do, but the deal was too good. And as I'm setting up, it shows a lot of this stuff I can uh, resell. So, and I also got four hockey. So I'm going to get the hockey out of the way. Um, only one's a Hall of Famer. One is a notable guy and two most of you never heard of. But the first one, this is uh, from In the Game Between the Pipes of Doug Favell. Doug Favell played for uh, the Colorado Rockies, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, got a couple of TTMs from him. So, um, not an expensive one. Next one from Upper Deck, Sign of the Times. Six-time Stanley Cup champion, Larry Hillman. Most notably... Uh, with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, he's got a 71 Opeachy card. That's uh, notoriously funny, as most of the 71s are with Esposito with plaid pants. They took uh, Larry's head and superimposed it on a goalie who happened to be Dave Dryden. So if you look at the Dave Dryden card and the Larry Hillman, they're the exact same card, only they've... Uh, superimposed Larry's head on Dave Dryden. It's quite comical. Uh, the Hall of Famer I got from the Triple Crown line. Um, very unheralded. Uh, GM now uh, from the LA Kings. Uh, Dave Taylor. Upper Deck piece. Legends classic from, what is that? 2004-5. Pretty cool. And the last one I thought was a very nice piece, also an upper deck piece. Jim Carrey, winning goaltender for the U.S. Olympic team, 1980, Miracle on Ice. Uh, had a brief stint in the NHL. Wasn't too successful, but he will be forever known as... Uh, I remember being 15 or 14 years old when they won it. Al Michaels and Ken Dryden did the call and uh, remember them upsetting the Russians uh, and then beating Finland in the gold medal game and him draped with the U.S. flag. Um, although I'm not American, it was a pretty cool, pretty cool event. I recognize such at the time. Uh... I'm not even sure. AU standard. This is an upper deck. Uh, Artist Gilmore. Like I said, there's a bunch of NBA guys. Um, Jerry Lucas of the Ohio State. And um, I think that's just a... Uh, Yeah, my eyes are bad. Can't even see it through the camera. Select, but nonetheless, good fodder for the table. Uh, this guy I know, part of the bad boys, but I think he was one of the good guys. Uh, National Treasures, uh, numbered 81 of 99, Joe Dumars. Next four are National Treasures. This one, Santonio San Spurs, Louis Dampier. Can't even get the number out of that. I think it's 16 of 99. Um, the Iceman had a poster of this guy in my room when I was a kid. George Gervin. He was sitting on a throne made of ice. National Treasures, 21 of 99. I also had one of a guy 
don't know if anyone remembers Daryl Griffith. Dr. Duncanstein, they called him. The Chief, out of 99, Robert Parrish from the Boston Celtics. And Mr. Nate Archibald, 56 and 99 from National Treasures. So those are the NBA. Those ones on the side. Now, I've got about 11 MLB autos. This one's a interesting one. It's called uh, SP Link to the Past. It's number 31 of 50. Joe Carter and David Percy. And the Link to the Past being Joe Carter was a first round draft pick in 91. And so is David in 2004. But clearly, Jolt and Joe had the better career. Uh, for Chicago Cubs fans, Rhino, Sticker, Ryan Sandberg from Donruss. I'm not even sure what year that's from. It's not important. Another cool piece. Uh, Phil Necro. What is this one from? This is Tops. Uh, I'm not sure of the product. Tops Tribute. What year is that? 2018 Tops Tribute. Cool piece. A little shadow box action there. These next three were put out, or not this, yeah, the next three were put out by Nabisco and endorsed by the Major League Players Association. So we've got Mr. Frank Robinson on the back. It comes with a little certificate of authenticity. And then you've got... Mr. Duke Snyder, also with the cert on the back. And finally, we have, this one seems to stick out the cert at the top, Jim Palmer. And that is from the same Nabisco MLB Players Association. Next one, Sports Illustrated for Kids. Harmon Killebrew. Shout out to Brent near Mint Musings. I know he's a big Killebrew fan. And then the next three are part of the Cooperstown collection. So we have Mr. Bobby Dorr. We have Tony Perez. And we have Mr. Raleigh Fingers. All pretty cool. And the final one I picked up was The Rocket. Mr. Roger Clemens. Um, upper deck piece, anyhow. Not sure what year. But just a very cool autograph. So that is it, guys. Thanks for sticking it out. Almost nine minutes. Hope you're all doing well. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.